All right. Okay, let's bust it. We managed to finish Abaddon without too many losses. Uh, or at least with one loss, I should say. Uh, so not too many losses overall, which is which is not too bad. Uh, it's pretty decent overall, I would say. Uh, pretty solid. Not bad at all. Um, yeah, now we'll we'll give it a give it a try. And the next one that is on our list is Alchemist. At least I believe it's Alchemist. So if we go and take a look, it is. Take a look at heroes. I think if you go, yeah, it's alchemist is next. So there we go. Uh, alchemist is a kind of well in the higher level play, or at least in some interesting way, he's a position four. But generally, as you can see, he's a durable carry kind of unit, a supporter. Nuke, Disabler, he's got a pretty interesting kit. Um, the main thing about Alchemist, honestly, is that you actually need to kind of play him, uh, realistically speaking, as uh, quickly as possible. Uh, so it generally, nowadays, his scaling is a bit better as a position 4, because you focus more on making the rest of your team better. Uh, then you focus on making yourself really strong. Alchemist himself as a carry does tend to fall off, especially late game comparatively uh, to the rest of Dota's heroes. So there's just something. Um, in terms of abilities, he's got Acid Spray, which is high pressure acid, sprays across the target area. It's like an AoE kind of oil slick. And uh, yeah, it does physical damage, uh, it does damage per second, the most important thing is that it reduces armor, uh, which is very good, and so it's good for zoning out your enemies. Then you have Unstable Concoction, uh, which he, basically you have a timer above your head, so he is faster while charging the Concoction. Uh, the longer that you hold the Concoction or attempt to brew it, uh, the more dangerous it will be, so the better it will be. Uh, right now you can see the longer you hold it, the max stun is 4 seconds, uh, which is pretty good. And the max damage is 360, it's also physical, uh, which is pretty good. And it's got an explosion radius, so it's an AoE stun. Um, move speed bonus is 20% while holding it. The issue is, is that if you do not um, throw the stun, you will actually just stun yourself. Then you have Grievel's Greed, uh, which basically gives you additional gold per creep that you kill, uh, which is something pretty important overall. And then you get Chemical Rage, which basically just increases our health regen, movement speed, and attack speed. Well, our base attack time, which allows us to increase our attack speed quite a lot. So, yeah, it's like... it's He's a good hero. But his tempo control is very, very focused on the early game. Uh, in terms of stat gain, it's 2.9 uh, strength per level, which is a good amount of strength. And Intel is 1.8. He starts out with 2.7 defense, 52 to 58 attack, which is decent, and 305 mobility, which isn't bad um, overall, I think. So yeah. Um, We'll take a look at how he does. He does have a shards and a chemical rage, so Agnum shard gives him berserk berserk, uh, berserk potion, which uh, basically is a minor version of his ulti that can be applied to allies, which is pretty helpful if you're going the kind of full support thing. And then chemical rage, uh, the ag scepter allows you to melt down the Agnum scepter, um, and basically, yeah, uh, just. Uh, give it to your allies which is pretty damn good uh so yeah that is alchemist so let us try him out in the match and see how he does overall alchemist is somewhat interesting a hero <clears throat> and you just kind of have to uh really focus in on what kind of alchemist you're going to be playing because you can play quite a few different variants of him. 
so it's important that you focus on the one you want to play and then you can kind of see where that goes so yeah overall it's it's yeah it's pretty interesting i would say i think if you are looking to play alchemist or something like that uh like just in general um i think you're going to want to try and definitely need to <laughs> learn how to last hit if you're going to be playing core alchemist it's pretty important uh overall if you are focusing on playing core alchemist uh it's just like a very big focal point because last hitting activates the grievous greed which is where you're going to get the majority of your gold and yeah uh you need to kind of pair with strong uh ag users because that's really going to help you overall so yeah pretty 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 cool but yeah um i don't really play i haven't played too much alchemist i think if we look at my stats uh yeah, the bad one was my first one okay so i've won four out of five alchemist games with decent ish numbers nothing too crazy um as a hero so we'll have to see how he goes uh but yeah doesn't look like i did too insane i didn't like pop off um in any of the games i mean my highest kills is 15. so we'll just have to see how it goes i i i don't play a lot of heroes too much so we we're gonna have to like see how we go um i'd like to play elk ideally so you can play top lane alchemist which is the four if you go bottom lane you have the carry but you don't want to go bottom lane because going bottom lane uh, as elk or playing carry elk is just not the thing they left because we chose elk they really rage rage quit we we'll have to see but yeah we're just gonna have to see what happens Elk is like, it'll work and you'll get a big victory or it won't work and you're not going to have like a good time at all. Uh, so yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit of a dicey, dicier pick, whereas Abaddon's like a more interchangeable character. Elk lineups can kind of either get run over or they can be super good and run over the enemy. Not entirely certain which one is which right now. Right now we have great AGS users so far, so everyone's kind of buying into the whole AGS philosophy here. Well, good AGS user, Warlock, great AGS user, Lena, good AGS user, Chaos Knight's a good AGS user. So yeah, we can just kind of see that at least we've got a couple AGS options, which is good for us, but that's kind of it. So it's important to get bounties early game and you really want to take Grievous Greed, generally speaking. But you can also take Acid Spray because you do want to kind of force your opposition out of lane. Don't place Acid Spray directly under the wave either, at least from my experience. Because if you place it directly under the wave, you are going to push your lane too aggressively. And it's not something you want to do early on because it actually makes getting last hits harder. Uh, which is not something we actually want to do because we need last hits quite 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 severely so yeah we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to work on it I'll be the catalyst. Go, go, go. so we'll see um what our bounty position is and you just kind of want to hold the skill point and see how it goes realistically speaking Damn you don't want to spend it you don't want to do anything uh you just want to wait hold it 
see how it goes yeah. and then if you look like you're going to grab a couple of the the bounties then you're going to want to take uh Grievous greed because it's a 1.5 bounty multiplier um which is pretty good so basically if we get three bounty runes it's an extra 60 gold for us straight away right off the bat which is pretty nice uh just all things considered but even if we only pick up two bounty runes it's an additional 40 gold so it's pretty good especially early on 40 gold will be enough to grab our ring of protection immediately uh, and then pretty much start building into the soul ring which is our next most pivotal item and then yeah then it's just ags yeah just basically ags 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 so that's going to be pretty important The battle begins. There we go. That's okay. Orders. We didn't get lots, but we got our two runes. Got our ring of protection. It's gonna work directly onto the the blocking the wave is important to keep laying the equilibrium don't want to have your lane uh, come out against you we are going to get harassed until we get level two that's okay a lot of people are playing coddle right now because he is an annoying hero he's not actually the biggest issue for us because we can because we we can actually regen quite well So it's not it's not the biggest issue for us. Yeah. We're under attack. <laughs> Every last hit that the uh, co-op gets us is a lot of gold. So now we have assets rare and we have soaring so now we can start to harass them using acid spray just kind of really force the lane out here Mixing it up. like we okay. more than fine we'll get a stick and then we'll be okay the reason I'm getting stick is because of Coddle because he is going to spam his magic spells and we want to be able to live our life with that we're gonna come here battle up Nice big chunks of gold. We are battling quite well early on. So we're not too concerned, we're just kind of battling them out right now, which isn't really... It's not ideal. Um, ideally, we want to focus on stuff like lane, uh, last hitting, but it's not the end of the world. Like, it's all more than fine. Getting a lot of chip damage in on them. Make sure we get these last hits here. Yes. Very good. Very important. Okay, so it's not not really the best scenario there. Dying. Your 
it's all okay. We're gonna get our boots now. We're gonna come back. We're gonna start dominating the lane with acid spray. And we should be okay. first which is fine uh, that means we get the XP so we need to stop fighting though like the more we fight the more we fight the worse it's gonna be for us overall um, like fighting is not conducive to us as a unit we want to just last hit so fighting 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 is just actually worse for us really um, because we need to start getting ag scepters. Watch where you're going. But it's okay. Shake it. Like we will be fine. I want to use acid spray. You drive for a while. Right before. Tiptoe now. You're shaking my brew. Uh. Mixing it up. This is a perfect situation for us, all these skeletons. And it's taken back on all. Which is pretty bad for us. I'm going, I'm going. So if we had got those skeletons, it would have been really great. We would have got so much gold, but it's still fine. I just need to focus on last hitting. So we need to get to level six so that we can increase our so we can get our ulti because that's what's going to give us our sustain. It's also what's going to let us farm creeps. 
so that's all very important. So, we got our six at the right time there, because, yeah, we wouldn't have had a great time if we didn't have it. So, we're just getting ganked now, because they want to shut down the strategy, but that's okay. It happens, these things happen, so you just need to try and find farm. So you can commonly revert back to jungle. Uh, we are getting stacks, which is great uh, and does help us out. We do just need to be careful about them taking our stacks, but it's more than fine at this point. So yeah, we just need to be safe and then we can take stacks. Stacks will generally be our hey, kind of go-to. So the reason I let that blow up was so that we could uh, get the AoE damage from it. So you can see we've managed to recover with gold already, uh, which is really, really good. Yeah. We're not ready to take the ancient stack, but we do have enough Let's money here. First, the first thing you want to buy always is your ogre club. It's going to give us health, damage, yes. regen. Which is very good for us. Here we come. Let's go. Over there. Let him Now we just want to try and pick up gold, really focusing on picking it up. Pick up creeps where we can. Try and get this kill. Nah. We're not going to be able to get it, but that's okay. Just going to head back to lane. Farm creeps. That's, that's going to be our strategy. 
Dyer's structures are fortified. Watch your heels. With a max acid spray and getting the health, uh, we can contemplate possibly taking ancients or starting to work on the ancient stack. Um, generally speaking. Broom handle is a good one for us, so it is possessed mask. Uh, Don't hold back. This mask is really, really great. So now our team is really making space for us, which is really, really good. Helps us out quite a bit. What we're going to do is we're going to pick up the and pick up the play double accuracy, which is good. We're going to take another level in Grievous Greed, and then we're going to be pretty solid. This is going to give us a lot of gold. Uh, it's going to give us a lot of gold. And then we're going to pick up our orb here, the point booster, run that in. And then now we're about to pick up our first eggs. We're pretty far behind. We should kind of have our first eggs by like, like the, I want to say the 10 minute mark. So we're a little bit behind here. But it is what it is. We are now strong enough that we're not too concerned about things like cuddle and things like that. Really, we're just farming. We have our first eggs, which is good. Only ninety-eight percent pure. Yeah. We're gonna go back to land. Now we start working on our next one, which we'll probably give to, um, uh, or we should probably give to We'll probably give it to uh, someone like Quap. Uh, Quap will be good. I'm not too certain, really.
That's okay. It's not like the end of the world. We can give to Chaos Knight as well. It's also a pretty good pickup with the Ags. Um, Like it'll, it'll be a pretty good pickup overall to give Ags out. So yeah, giving your Ags out is kind of your thing. It's kind of your deal. So you you do want to do that. I think you need to kind of plan beforehand though. Like, make sure that your team is aware that you're giving out eggs. If you're not building the eggs uh, distributor, then you kind of want to go for a lot more, like, fighting items. You want to build for things like... Uh, you want to build things like... Uh, that. There we go. Yes. Yes, I will be. Random stranger. Jokes. Friend. Uh, so, yeah. Basically, um, it is uh, something that you kind of want to do. You want to focus on bringing out the Ags. You want to focus on things like Agnum Scepter as well um, for this build. But at the same time, only do it up to the point where you've given out all the useful Ags. My whole team is full of useful Ags, which makes it quite nice because it means there's a lot of value to giving out Agnums and things like that. But uh, that is this team chose well after I initiated picking up Alchemist, so it was a good decision by them. It is going to help our team in the long run. Uh, eventually, we will build into our own items, but at this point, giving out really Ags to heroes is going to be a good call. Saw them. See, so you want to also just choose when you want to kind of run in. Use these moments of good farm uh, or good team fighting to kind of push and kind of seal up. Yeah, he's not gonna have a good time. That's the thing when your team can really fight around uh, the AX upgrades that you give them, that's when you're gonna have the best time. You wanna try and get at least two or three eggs out by the 30 minute mark, maybe even four, if your whole team is dependent on eggs, because it's gonna, you're basically providing everyone else a significant eggs upgrade. Most units, barring supports, will probably have their eggs by 30 minutes if it's a valuable item to them, but some of them might not build them, just due to the uh, kind of like fact that you're on the team. So just be aware of that and yeah, try and Try and organize who gets them next, if you can, voice chat, etc. Just communicate the whole time. Because if you don't, you're not going to be able to maximize your AG's abilities and who you want to give them to. We're just trying to farm around the mid lane because our team is currently like stacking and fighting. But obviously we want to keep farming, so we have a second Ags on the way. Uh, also again, a bit longer than we wanted, uh, but it is one of those things. We can get the Berserker Potion after we've dropped off our next Ags, because it will be something that's pretty helpful. Yeah, I'm going to take the health upgrade. The reason we're taking health over damage is because we're not the carry here, and so having health just lets us survive and throw out more stuns. Basically, that is our uh, entire kit 
and focus at this point. If they want to go Roshan, that's fine. It'd be nice, we're good for Roshan, but we want to pick up this farm here because the farm is good for us. They'll also be able to take Roshan without us. So we're not too con not too phased about being at at Rosh. So you just want to keep farming. It's a it's a really strange hero place down, I know, but I mean it is what it is. Like uh you just wanna keep farming. Farming, farming, farming. Getting that farm, getting those eggs out, uh, and then you should be good. Uh -huh. Your bottom tower is under attack. So the okay. Quap wants it next. Uh, her eggs is pretty nice. Increases Sonic Wave, which is okay. Um, ideally, I would have liked to attack. give it to Chaos Knight, considering the amount that we are fighting. But again, it is okay. Your bottom tower is under attack. Each axe that we give out will eventually make our final axe quite strong. So you don't need to be too alarmed about how you're scaling. Uh, if you look here, every ag you do will give you bonus damage and bonus scepter spell amp. So it is something you can do. Uh, it's just, yeah. So we're going to immediately start working on our next one. And that's going to hopefully enable us uh, to, we're going to give it to Warlock, who I think has a good one, um, if he wants it. Warlock's one is debatable because of the reduction of the stats on the golems. And then, we are going to, Titan's Liver is very good for us, but at this point we're not too concerned. We can maybe pick up something that's a bit better for farming, or Bill Whip for mana regen, because at this point we are struggling with mana, uh, and so having mana regen will be nice, and will help us out a lot, so we can definitely do that. While the rest of the team is fighting, we're making space, and we're making good ground towards our next eggs. What you can do is to help speed up your farm. Just let yourself blow up. try and get our next eggs out by like the 32 minute mark would be ideal I think um, Mixing it up. because then we are pretty much done on eggs um, like I don't think we need it Ruins will the also help. Top tower has fallen. You've got it. Iron sword's nice for us. 
that will keep the bow whip for the mana regen for now. Actually, Paladin's was mm -hmm. just nicer for us in general. farm we almost have another eggs which is fine just sitting here in the jungle realistically that's all we need to do we go. wonder if we stack them. picking up bounties is great for us your bottom tower is under attack. So we should get this one by the 32 minute mark. For sure. All right already. So that'll be good for us. And I take a TP scroll. Mm -hmm. Actually, so one more wave of creep should do it. Stir it up. Especially since we got skeletons. You don't want to kill the big skeleton first. Just always remember that you will drop little skeletons, which is good for you. Should get our yeah, got another eggs. This will be the last eggs we will probably buy our team. And then we're good. Our team is pretty much just winning the game without us to be fair. But we can say we did our part because we yeah, gave out so many eggs. Did our job. The enemy's middle Entirely won a game based on giving other people items. Very, very interesting uh, concept. But, I mean, it works, so we can't complain. Mega creeps, and we basically won this game. So, how much it depended on us giving out eggs is a bit difficult to tell. But, Quap, essentially, if you look at her net worth, she doesn't have a lot going on. Uh, but she's got her eggs. So, it's, it's like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's very difficult to say this is a. Uh, this is how it worked, this is not how it worked, because in theory we realistically did do very well to carry the game. Not us directly, but by giving our team so many tools. And we'll give one more X. Because why not? That was uh that was chaos line. Oh, 
his ag is, is very, very, Why are we not pushing? very, 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 very silly. The basically for extra PC, which is always fun. Lots and lots of fun. And yeah. Um, we're gonna come just in time to help our team. Uh, we're gonna do uh, tons of good work. Really get involved in the fights. And that's it. We passively farmed our way to victory. That's kind of the current alchemist playstyle. It's really not. I mean, it's cool, but it's a bit wacky. Um, if it works, it works. Can't really complain too much. Like I said, it's very difficult to tell how much effect you had on the game. Um, but yeah, see, GG elk. It worked. So, we basically just gave out, I think, three Agnums there. So we gave our team 12,000 net worth. If you look at the difference in team XP and net worth, uh, so if you look the difference between uh, their net worth and ours, 15,000 up until the 30 minute mark, which is kind of where we took the racks, um, pretty much all entirely uh and yeah to be fair and like they're saying right now i do think we could have played anything and won that game uh but yeah i mean it doesn't really matter we got the victory so i'm gonna be happy about it and that's kind of how it works uh as you can see uh in terms of net worth obviously they were pretty swole pretty stacked but we do provide a lot of net worth to our team we gave out three AGs upgrades, which is pretty good. And yeah, I think we can we can safely call that a, a victory. So we'll give them a command and then we'll uh, call it there. Pretty good on the elk. Obviously interesting overall. But yeah, Alchemist, a bit of a strange hero. Maybe we'll do another trip around and when we do a second look at him, we'll play him as a core. Uh, but yeah, yeah, Alchemist, strange hero, even stranger builds. Uh, if you look at the game, our net worth was horrifically down. Uh, but if you look at our, uh, where's our, they're not sure, our XPM and GPM, they should be. Yeah. We pretty low on my stats overall, but really.